We'll be talking about four important things in today's video. First, I will give you some information about describe image. After that, we'll talk about the scoring criteria for describe image. Then we'll look into one template which can be used to describe any kind of images asked in the exam. After that, we'll briefly talk about fluency and pronunciation, which are two criteria for scoring in describe image. So let's get it started. So talking about describe image, this question is the third question type asked in speaking after read aloud and repeat sentence. In this question, you get five to six images and you have to describe them. You can get a line graph, a pie chart, a bar diagram, a table, a map, or images, or anything that can be described. And in order to describe the image, you get 25 seconds first to prepare and then 40 seconds to speak. A common question that I often get is, how long should you speak? And the answer is, it's better to speak for 25 to 35 seconds. Why? Because first you have to make sure that you have provided the computer with enough data, which means you have to speak for at least 25 seconds so that computer has enough information about your speech. Then you also should not speak for more than 35 seconds. The reason for that is if you're still speaking after 35 seconds, there is a good chance that you may not be able to complete your sentence by the time the recording is over. However, it does not mean that at no time you should be speaking less than 25 seconds or more than 35 seconds. Because sometimes you might just speak for 20 seconds and in some other instances you might speak for more than 35 seconds. And it's fine if it just happens in some questions, but make sure that in most of the questions you speak for 25 to 35 seconds. Okay, so how the scoring is done? Scoring is done on the basis of three things. So you have just given an answer. Now, the algorithm will look at three things in your answer. First is the content. That means how much of the information on the image was captured in your answer. So anyone who uses the template or speaks in the same way I did will get full score in the content, which is five out of five. Then the next thing is fluency, which means how continuously and how naturally you spoke without hesitation. So the only thing you have to keep in mind is be able to speak without hesitation. And lastly, they look at your pronunciation, which means how native like your pronunciation was. And it's not accent, it's your pronunciation. That means whether you pronounce the word correctly or not. So try your best to learn the pronunciation of commonly used words in describe image. And that will be enough for describe image pronunciation. Okay, the next thing is how is this question asked in the exam and what are the things you need to keep in mind while describing image? For this, let's go to our website and look at one of the sample questions from actual exam. So this is our website and you can see we have a question here. Uh, for your information, our website has a lot of practice questions which you can access and practice for free. So you can see that we have got 660 questions of describe image with sample answers. So if you want to prepare for describe image, then it's a good idea that you go to our website, sign up for a free plan and start practicing describe image questions as well as any other questions asked in speaking. We have more than 7,000 questions for you to practice for free on our website. Talking about today's topic, this is our question. And there are a few things we need to keep in mind while doing this question. The first is the progress bar. Now, I have already uh, gone through this question here. That's why you cannot see the progress bar now. But in your exam, first you will see the preparation progress bar, which will go for 25 seconds. Once that bar reaches the end, the recording progress bar will start. You have to make sure that you start speaking within three seconds of seeing this progress bar. Otherwise, if you say anything after that, it will not be analyzed. It will not be accepted as answer. Now, that's the first important thing. Second, this is your image. And you have to make sure that you can describe this image by including all the relevant information from the image. In order to do that, it's a good idea that you use a template. A typical template should have at least three things. First, it should introduce the image. It should at least say what the image is about. The second thing is try to include as much information from the image as possible in your description of the image. And the third thing is make a habit of giving a conclusion. The reason for that is Pearson has outlined in its score guide that students who give a structured answer are likely to get more points in the exam. So let's say that this is my image and I want to describe it. So how can I do it by using a template? I can start by saying the title of the image first, which will be my introduction of the image. So I can say the given diagram shows leverage ratios for major investment banks. 
In this diagram, I can see information about leverage ratio, total debt by stakeholders equity, and Beer Streams, Goldman Sachs, Lehman Brothers, Merrill Lynch, and Morgan Stanley. I can see year 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, and 2007. Different banks are in different colors. So if I still have time, then I can keep talking about those colors as well. Otherwise, I can give the conclusion now. And I can say, in conclusion, the diagram provides important details about leverage ratios for major investment banks. So you can see that this is a very easy way to describe image. Now, you may have heard from others that you have to show relationship between different components of the image. But that's almost impossible in the exam, especially when the questions are like this. You can see this question has a lot of information and it may not be possible to see all the relationships, all the trends in just 25 seconds. However, I have also found in the last six years of teaching PT that you do not really need to uh, show relationship between different items and still you'll be able to get the full score. So yes, if you can show the relationships, talk about the trends, go for it, but it's not necessary. And even if you don't do that, you can still get the full score and you'll be able to fulfill all the criteria of evaluation. That means content, fluency, and pronunciation. As I said earlier, the evaluation criteria consists of content, fluency, and pronunciation. To score maximum points from content, try to include as much information from the image as possible in your description. To get the highest point in fluency, try to speak consistently and without hesitation. Sometimes you may not have anything to say in such situation, rather than thinking and making unnatural pauses, Try to repeat the information that you see on the image if you can't do anything else. Then, the last thing is pronunciation. For that, try to speak as clearly as possible with good intonation, good rhythm, and good natural pauses between your um, ideas and your sentences. That's a really important thing for you to do if you want to score higher in pronunciation. And if you can do these three things, you can get the maximum possible score from describe image. Other than that, of course, you should practice a lot and should get feedback from tutors as well because that is the best way to find out if you are making any specific kind of mistakes and a special kind of mistakes for which you need feedback from your tutors. And if you need any such feedback, then you can go to our, our website and sign up for any of our plans. Our online preparation plan starts from $99 and it comes with live classes, interactive sessions, strategy videos, practice questions, sample answers, all the templates, all the mock test and mock mini test and so many other things. So if you're struggling with your exam, I think it's high time you went to our website and start practicing if you found this video useful please hit the like button and if you have not subscribed to our channel yet please do subscribe hit the bell icon if you don't want to miss any future videos and we have a facebook group where you can ask me questions about your performance or about your confusion regarding pt and you can join our facebook group by clicking on the link on the description below if you are preparing for your exam all the best and i'll see you soon in the next video